Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to perform two simple speed and boot tests for the new fifth generation iPod Touch against the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. So I've lined them all up with which device will be fastest, starting from left going right. All right, and so before we begin, I just wanted to set all of the devices into airplane mode really quick so we don't get any interference. So let me go ahead and just do that right now. All right, now that all of these devices are set into airplane mode, I'm just going to ensure that all applications are exited through the simple multitasking interface here. So now that all of these applications are quit out of, let's go ahead and open up Geekbench 2. Now this is just a very simple application for benchmark testing. So let's go ahead and open it up on all four of these devices. All right, now starting off, we do get information about each of the devices right here. This isn't really what we're concerned about though, because we already know that the iPhone 5 has an A6 processor, the iPod Touch fifth generation, and the iPhone 4S both have an A5 processor, and the iPod Touch fourth generation has an A4 processor. So let's go ahead and start the test. I'm going to just start it simultaneously on all of these devices here. It might be a little bit tricky, but let's go ahead and try and get it as close as possible. Okay, unfortunately I didn't get it quite at the same time, but that's okay. What we're really concerned about are the numbers at the end, not how fast they perform the test. Now I've actually increased the speed of this video, so what you're seeing is much quicker than how long it actually takes to run this test. So as you can see over here, the iPhone 5 is already finished and it has a very impressive score of 1,646. All right, now that all of the devices are finished, you'll notice that the results aren't quite what I anticipated in the beginning because some of the numbers for the fifth generation iPod Touch were probably slightly skewed during the initial Geekbench tests. So as you can see, the iPhone 4S did better than expected with 629 and the iPod Touch fifth generation following closely behind just three points with 626 and the fourth generation iPod Touch unfortunately fell extremely short of all devices with a very low score of 391. So obviously when comparing these two devices here, the fifth generation iPod Touch against its predecessor, the fourth generation iPod Touch, the clear winner is the fifth generation iPod Touch with an impressive score of 626. Again, we're running an A5 processor over here on the fifth generation iPod Touch, essentially the same as the iPhone 4S. And of course the iPhone 5 blows all of them out of the water with an incredibly high score of 1,646 or 1,646. So let's go ahead and just shut all these devices off right now. Again, it doesn't really matter which ones I shut off first or if they shut off simultaneously because what we're really concerned about is the boot speed and I will try and get this one exactly right. So let's go ahead and turn all of them off right now and then we'll go ahead and turn them back on simultaneously. All right, we're still waiting on the iPhone 5 here. And now that it's finished, let's go ahead and turn them all back on. I'm actually going to try a trick here by just placing them on top of each other. All right, and so this is just how I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to hit the power buttons over here on the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch fifth generation while simultaneously hitting the power buttons on the iPhone 4S and the fourth generation iPod Touch. All right, so let's go ahead and do it in one, two, three. All right, so there we go. We did hit the power button simultaneously on all four of these devices. Again, iPhone 4S, iPod Touch fourth generation. We have the iPod Touch fifth generation and the iPhone 5. Also a thing to note is when looking at the iPod Touch fourth generation, you'll notice the black levels are absolutely horrible in comparison to all of these other devices. So surprisingly, the iPod Touch fifth generation came up first followed by the iPhone 5, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and then the iPhone 4S finished last. I hope you guys liked this video. Of course, just be sure to rate it up if you did and leave any comments down below in the comment section. And don't forget to enter to win the all new 5th generation iPod Touch giveaway. All you have to do is rate this video up or any of my videos and leave a comment down below in the comment section with the key phrase iPod Touch 5G ICU. Of course, you also have to be subscribed to enter. So if you aren't already subscribed, just be sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.